Hi, <laughs> hello, my name is Matt Bell and you're watching Bellantech. <laughs> okay, first, I need to explain some things, right? I have a flu, fever, I have a fever, okay? It's easy to mix out, it both starts with the F's, okay? So, right now, I'm being medicated, so I'm probably gonna act a bit loopy, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh. With this video, I originally thought I was actually going to be vlogging my camping trip. I did not like that idea. I decided that that was not going to work, and I kind of just chucked it in the garbage. Well, I still needed a video, and I had an idea and a thought that I could catch a squirrel. I'd done it before, th like for three years in a row, I caught a squirrel with a box and some rocks. So. I like threw this idea together like randomly. Like there was no, there was no structure. There's, I just kind of like, I'm gonna make this video, right? Well, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, it didn't. Now I'm here to explain and put the pieces together and bring you some entertainment. <laughs> Give you some jokes and make it less boring. Woo. <laughs> Well, in order to do that, I had an idea. I was like, how am I gonna do this? Like, how am I actually going to, like, get this to work? So, I have a green screen. All right, I upgraded, I'm coming up in the world. All right, I have a green screen. And so now I can be anywhere in the video, like, wherever, right? Genius, genius, okay? So, now I will throw it to past Matthew with Glasses, braces, and no style. And you cannot judge me. I have a flu. Fever. I have a fever. I will tell you now okay. what you need to have to catch a squirrel. Okay? First, yeah, I guess that works. you will need a box. I couldn't figure out a creative way to show that you need a box. So, you need a box. Alright? Now, you need a stick. Preferably with a V at the top. That hurt my hands. You better like the video for that. Oh no. Now, in the strangest way possible, you have found your stick. You will need two rocks. <laughs> That's four. Oh two rocks. <laughs> Homeschool. One rock. <laughs> Wait. Two rocks. What? I got my. Oh, oh. I got my two rocks. Uh. I don't know what's wrong with me. So now that you have found those in the strangest way possible, you will need a rope. Preferably not super bright, like yellow, but that's all I could find. I also could not find a creative way of finding a rope. So make one up. Now that you have all of your create, <sighs> I can't talk. Now that you have all of your equipment, your two rocks, your stick with the V on top, and preferably not super bright yellow rope with your box you will be able to catch a squirrel that is what we're going to be trying today and hopefully we get lucky pray hands oh my goodness i did it oh do you see that oh my goodness oh that was amazing i'm really proud of myself boy scouts really did help mom Alright, now that we have this ready, we got our bait, a good old granola bar, and I actually think we have a pretty good chance of getting a squirrel, so... Well, I guess that segment of the video was just me showing you what you need and to make a box of rocks, and to catch a squirrel. I don't know. Good luck. I guess it also shows how resourceful I am, or desperate, because I went outside and picked up stuff off the ground to make a video. So, you're welcome. Just hands. <laughs> okay, now that the trap is set, now it's just the waiting game. I feel like we're actually gonna catch a squirrel. Shh, now it's quiet time.
I'm making that trap so irresistible. You can even smell it from over here. Mmm. Sometimes you feel like chipmunks are so common and you see them every day while you're camping. And all the time. They're always there. But when you need them for content, they're not. What's up with that? That'd be terrible if a chipmunk went right up to my trap right now and nothing's ready. All right, you see how far the shadows have moved? I've been here for like two hours, waiting and waiting. And then I leave to go eat, and apparently two squirrels came. I oh, know, man. This has taken a long time. I've seen squirrels further in the background, back in those trees right there. So I might just move the trap. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the trap because this ain't working. Hear that? That was a squirrel. Hmm. That's frustrating. All right. I'm moving the trap. You know, it's these moments in life when you think, was it really meant to happen? Was I really supposed to catch a squirrel today? When it's happened every single year that we've been here. But this year, for some reason, just hasn't worked so far. But you know what they say about hunting. It's all about perseverance. It's the mental game. You have to beat the squirrels. Okay? Mentally. They can't fight the peanut butter granola bars forever. Okay? So tomorrow morning, we will, t we will catch a squirrel. We better catch a squirrel. Because it's the mental game. And I'm going to catch a squirrel. And we're going to do it together. Okay. I'm not going to catch a squirrel. <laughs> oh. If it's been like five hours and I haven't even gotten this in like anything. Like come on. It's the mental game. I'm breaking. Tomorrow is our last day. And I have to catch a squirrel. Okay, see you tomorrow, I guess. Welcome to a new day. A new day of torture and sitting there waiting for a new chipmunk to come along and look to the right side of your screen. I don't know which way that is, but look to the right side of your screen. You can see this little little ball of beautiful fur st standing right there eating his beautiful... What kind of nuts are they? Beautiful peanuts. That I placed there on the ground from a trail mix that I bought at Walmart late in the day. And it is eating it like it loves it. And I just want it to move maybe like two feet in the direction of the trap, under it preferably, so I can pull it and it falls on top of it. Well, guess what? If you look closely, this squirrel leaves. That it freaking leaves. chipmunk was so close. It was so close. Did you see that? He must I have been had it in my grass. Oh my goodness. It was right there. And everyone's in the car. That was our last chance. You guys don't understand the pain. Oh. The now look, pain. look. It would have worked too. This is two days that in chipmunk the went in that trap. Days. Two days. It's would have gone like this. Okay. Boom. Got it. And I'd get be like, the, oh my goodness. Get, get that out of my face. Get that out of my face. Now, to you guys that are watching this video, what I said past uh, like 30 seconds ago in the video where persistence is key, I was not wrong. I did not break. This is, this is on the last day. This is before we were going to leave, okay? But I didn't get it. I didn't catch that squirrel. I didn't, but it's okay. So. This is the end of the video. I know, it's like a mess. Like it's just kind of like, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
thrown together, all right? But this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, okay? I hope you did. And if you would like more of torture of me trying to catch a squirrel, then here's the challenge, okay, at the end of the video. If I could get 750 likes, okay, 750, and with 23 subscribers right now, that's, that's a big, that's a big ask, okay, 750, so like, yeah, then I will do this next year when I go camping again, and next year, it may be different, okay, so 750 likes, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. It took me way too long to make this. Like, I procrastinated so much, and it's been months. Right now, it's like two days after Thanksgiving. Like, that's how long. It's like five months after I recorded this, okay? That was summertime, okay? To the next video I'm going to work on. Stay tuned, okay? It will come sooner than this one was made, I promise, okay? But thank you for watching this one to the next one. And I guess peace. Bye.